in the current research project, we are trying to use virtual reality, which is a great compromise between lab research and everyday life functioning. My name is Monika Kornacka. I'm an assistant professor at SWPS University of Social Sciences and Humanities uh, in Poland. I'm also a psychologist and a researcher. Currently, I'm running my own lab, Emotion Cognition Lab, and working full-time as a researcher on a project founded by Polish National Science Center. But usually I'm working half-time as researcher and half-time as academic teacher. In our lab, we're working on two parallel paths of research. First is focused on transdiagnostic processes, emotional regulation and psychopathology. And the second is uh, focused on new technology. We're trying to find out how to use new technologies or IT technologies in psychological research, but also in clinical practice. Emotion Cognition Lab is also a member of Hayes Research Group. Hayes stands for Human Aspects in Science and Engineering, and researchers from our laboratories uh, cooperate strictly with researchers from other labs within our research group. Uh, that is, for example, XR Lab, uh, Polish Japanese Academy of Information Technology, or VR Lab, uh, Institute of Psychology, Polish Academy of Sciences. From the very beginning, so from my PhD uh, research, I was working uh, on transdiagnostic processes and focusing on rumination, so dwelling on the same problems and issues. During my PhD, uh, I was uh, measuring rumination through self-reported questionnaires and I was also inducing rumination in the lab to find out uh, how this kind of cognition might affect self-control, executive and attentional functioning. But very quickly I realized that we have to take a step forward and try to measure rumination and generally uh, transdiagnostic processes outside of the lab. That's why I applied for a grant from a Polish uh, National Science Center with SWPS University of Social Sciences to explore rumination in patients and participants' daily life. We're doing it through ecological momentary assessment. We're using mobile application to ask participants very short questions several times by day through, for example, one or two weeks. So we can assess uh, rumination and other processes, not only uh, in the lab or through questionnaires, but also in participants' everyday life. Moreover, when I was uh, working uh, here at ICAX lab, I found out that uh, we can measure executive functioning and attention, not only through simple uh, response time, but we can use more sophisticated measures, for example, uh, eye tracking. And finally, in the current research project, we are trying to use a virtual reality, which is a great compromise between lab research, when participant is seated in front of the computer and the conditions are very far from everyday life, and everyday life functioning, when we can obviously measure eye tracking indicators through mobile eye tracking, but then it is very difficult to compare across the participants because every participant will have very different experimental conditions. I think for me the most important part of being a researcher is collaboration. During my research career, I had this great 
opportunity to visit several labs. For example, recently, thanks to the Kościuszko Foundation, uh, I spent a few months at psychophysiology uh, lab at Stanford University. I've been also a visiting scholar in Grenoble, founded by French government and a Polish national agency for academic exchange. And if I'm thinking about my research project, actually each of them was based on this collaboration. I think it is important to collaborate internationally, not only for the methodological reason or for answering a specific research question. For me, it is also very important to learn how to manage research team and also what is the role of the mentoring from both perspectives of the mentee and the mentor.